What's up guys, it's Jock Slade, and tomorrow we're gonna see the evolution of the Kobe Bryant signature line with the Kobe 10. Now, the Kobe 9 has been one of the most discussed Kobe signature sneakers in recent memory due to its extremely high cut. As with any sneaker release, there were naysayers, but there were also a bunch of people that liked the shoe as well. Well, actually, let me go back. There were actually three versions of the Kobe 9 that released last year. The Kobe 9 Elite, the Kobe 9 Low, and the Kobe 9 Low EM. Now, for those that follow the Kobe line, you know that the Kobe 9 Low EM was a continuation of the engineered mesh trend that was happening on the Kobe 8. With that in mind, one would expect that the Flyknit used on the Elite and on the Low might make its way to the Kobe 10. So the question now is, will Flyknit continue to be a part of the Kobe line? Though the Kobe 9 had Flyknit, it wasn't technically a Flyknit shoe. On both the high and the low, Nike Basketball included a fuse layer that served as the buffer between your foot and the Flyknit, so it didn't exactly feel like a sock. Considering how rough basketball can be, this actually makes sense. Well, the answer to that question, at least in what appears to be the launch colorways, is yes and no. Leaked images of the Kobe 10 high looks like it still retains that Flyknit overlay, though the low top version seems to have abandoned the Flyknit for a mesh with overlays at the toe and at the heel. Now, I can't confirm this, but it looks like hyperfuse and a sort of a mesh material. However, if we look back at the Kobe 9, the Flyknit high was introduced first, then the EM version with the Flyknit low coming later. As far as upgrades for the Kobe 10, it looks like Nike Basketball is upgrading the cushioning, the heel, and the outsole. Thinking back as far as I can remember, the Kobe line has made use of Lunar as the primary cushioning, with Zoom as the secondary form of cushioning. From the leaked images I have seen, the Lunar line seems to still be there, but there is also now a Nike Zoom unit in the midsole at the heel, and it looks really big. I believe that the Fast Kobe 8 or Kobe 7, one of those, had the zoom in the heel, the ones with the interchangeable insoles. Now the unit looks like it's caged, which may dampen some of its responsiveness. Hopefully it doesn't affect the heel to toe transition so it's more smooth instead of a one-two. Something else I noticed in the dissected version of the shoes after Nike tweeted it out is that the shoe is gonna have a Nike free-ish outsole. Now I say free-ish because it's not exactly Nike free. There is an internal outsole and a rubber overlay. Now this should help with movement at the forefoot. You can see the sections on the insole here. But seeing that makes me wonder about the translucent gel looking overlay. So far through Twitter, Nike has told us that the shoe has better traction, a carbon fiber shank, and a shake skin inspired upper. Through the rest of the tweets are all about Kobe's individual game. As far as the overall design direction, it is an interesting dynamic to see the Kobe 9 and now the Kobe 10 go high. Since the Kobe 4, there has been such a focus on low and keeping the shoe low, but at the same time, the colorways and the sheer uniqueness of the high has been pretty intriguing to say the least. As far as pricing goes, nothing has been actually confirmed, but that should all be happening tomorrow. Uh, but I'm thinking that the shoe's gonna be priced between $170 and $180, with the high, which I believe to be the elite version, priced at $225, which is what it cost this year, all the way up to $245, I'm not sure. With All-Star happening in a few weeks, and from all the leaks, it appears that a low will be dropping on February 7th, that's believed to be the Blue Lagoon colorway that you've seen already, and the All-Star colorway will be dropping on February 13th. Now, just to be clear, these are all just my thoughts and none of it is confirmed yet. All that will come tomorrow when Nike officially unveils the shoe. Let me know if you think I was right about anything or if I was wrong about everything. Let me know right there down in the comments and of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I am your host Josh Slade and this is everything I know about the Kobe 10 so far. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace. About the game. Watch a little tape on our game later on on that TV there. And then uh, this is the gym guys. Take a look.